Okay, uh, today we're looking at the 7 inch mini Linux laptop. Um, this particular model has got the retro reloaded version of the software installed. For those who don't, you don't know what uh, Linux is, it's a alternative operating system to Microsoft Windows. Um, it's not compatible with Microsoft Windows so you won't be able to run any Windows programs on it but it does come with a lot of features already built in so you'll probably find that everything you need is already there. So let's take a look at some of the features it does actually come with. Okay, starting in the top corner over here we've got the Firefox web browser that's a very fully functional web browser. It's open source software which means that it's constantly being updated and uh, new features have been added. You have an email client, Yahoo Messenger, there's a dial-up software there for uh, the old style USB modems if you're on dial-up still. There's the wireless connection. Then along the bottom here we have the option there for connecting to 3G modems such as ones from 3 or Vodafone or virtually all the big network operators do those now on mobile. There's the Napster client. There's a VNC viewer which is for viewing um, other desktops on here. There's FTP software, there's a news and RSS reader, uh, there's a, a Wi Fi stumbler there for finding Wi Fi hotspots, there's IRC chat, there's e links, and there's also a BitTorrent client. That's all under the internet tab. If we go up to the top here where it says work, I'll we'll just click on that. There's a lot more options over here. Um, first of all, we have the Abbey Word word processor, which is uh, compatible with um, Microsoft Office. So you can load and save files on here and save them as Microsoft Word documents. So you can open them up in Microsoft Office or in OpenOffice or any other Office software that will open in Microsoft Word files. Um, you have the Gene Numeric, which is the Excel compatible spreadsheet. You have a PDF file reader, an ebook reader, dictionary software, calendar, calculator, a file manager, a HTML editor, which for creating if you want to create your own websites, um, the MC software, you have a terminal window, Gini, and also Leafpad. I'm not actually sure what they do, but I'm sure that they're uh, useful for something. Uh, on the uh, play tab now we have a video player, we have a music player, we have a flash player as well for playing flash animations and flash games. We also have a paint program, a sound recorder, uh, Tetris, the Doom program, or Doom game should I say, we have uh, an internet radio we have YouTube videos online, which lets you watch YouTube videos. We have Image Gallery and a few other games such as Penny Op and Free Cell there. And on the next tab here, on the settings tab, there's a few options that can be set. You can change the desktop template, uh, the sound setup, set the date and time. We've got network options there. You can put in owner details. And you can also change the key map as well depending on what version is, obviously if it's UK then you leave it outside UK. And on this last tab you have some archiving software for creating archives, zip files, etc. You have the program for installing additional software, you have a run box, help file, process monitor to see what programs are currently running. You also have a print manager there, which and this because this unit does support USB printers and a screen snap there for taking snapshots of, uh, of the screen. Okay, let's have a look at the unit itself now as opposed to the software. If I just zoom back, as you can see it's got a full UK QWERTY keyboard. Um, so if you are using it for typing documents or sending emails etc, you've got that option there. It's got a touchpad down here at the bottom with left and right mouse buttons or it also does support clicking on the uh, touchpad to open applications. If we actually look at the rest of the unit now you can see that 
it is extremely small compared to a normal laptop. If I just take the CD case and just place it there, you can see that it's only just a little bit wider and about the, uh, the same uh, width there of the CD case and just a bit, little bit longer. Let's have a look at some of the ports on the back of the laptop. Okay, uh, starting from this end, you've got a USB. We've got an Ethernet there, so if you want to plug it into a wired network rather than a wireless, and then you've got a power adapter. And then around this side here, you've got two USB connections there. So you can plug in USB keyboards, USB mice, printers, uh, USB pen drives into there. Um, and then around this other side, we have the SD card reader for additional memory and also if you wanted to you could um, put your uh, memory cards up your camera in there to view the pictures and then we've got uh, microphone and headphone sockets okay uh, let's just open it back up as you can see it's come back on straight away uh, as this unit has no moving parts, it's got no fans, it's got no hard drive in it, the drive that comes with it is a solid state drive, which means that um, it's instant, um, instantly comes back on when you've opened the lid there. You don't have to wait for the hard drive to spin up or anything like that. Also as well, it can be knocked about, you can bang it and turn it back on again and you know you, you're not going to risk the fact that the data is going to get corrupted because the hard drives had a So in knock. conclusion, the 7 inch mini Linux laptop, um, it's probably an ideal laptop as a truly portable device as it has good, very good battery life and it also uh, would easily fit into a small case or even a handbag something like that or perfect for a child's computer where you you know you run the risk that they might drop it and you don't you know you know that it's with a solid state drive it's not going to get damaged as easy as a regular laptop and is uh, cheaper to replace if it does get damaged beyond repair.